Hello everybody, this is Janice, and today I'm going to share some more layouts. I actually found a couple of layouts in my craft bag. Um, we're having a crop tomorrow, Sunday, February, I'm sorry, <laughs> January, we're still in January. Tomorrow, Sunday, January 15th from 2.30 to 7.30 at the Michaels in Waterford Lakes. And I was getting my bag ready, just getting some papers and, you know, pictures. And I like to kind of match my photos with the papers and kind of maybe get a sketch going in my head so that I can work and talk and help people and do all of that at the same time, multitask. And it's a big group tomorrow, so um, it ought to be a lot of fun. And so if you're interested and you're from the area, come out tomorrow. Um, from 2.30 to 7.30 at the Waterford Lakes Michaels, the one that's next to Kohl's. Um, there's a Home Depot in there. Um, uh, so if you know where that is, come on out. We would love to have you. It's $5. Um, just bring all your stuff, and it ought to be um, a lot of fun. I would be so thrilled to meet some of you um, if you're watching and you're from this area. So anyway... I found some layouts in there and I took them out and I thought, wow, these just don't look finished. So I just did a few finishing touches. Um, I'll tell you what I did and I actually made a discovery of something um, to do and maybe you've done this before and it's not new to you, but um, I, I just got this idea. So, and it involves this right here. Okay, this is actually a layout from 2010, September 2010, when we went up to New York and we actually stayed at the base um, in Brooklyn, Fort Hamilton. My husband is retired from the military, so we got to stay there. Beautiful, beautiful hotel um, near the Verrazano Narrows and a bridge. So anyway, we were leaving for the day and my husband and my son found some dandelions and apparently, you know, come to think of it, I never see dandelions in Florida. I totally took that for granted as a child. I always had fun, you know, blowing the dandelions. And so when I saw it, I was just like, Adrian, this is so cool. And so this was his first time blowing on a dandelion and there's my husband doing it and and I love it because he's got his little blanket and I know in years to come you know when this is no longer important to him it still is he still he doesn't carry it places with him like you see here but um he loves and cherishes his little blanket so it's in his bed every night with him and you know on the couch sometimes so anyway and so the title a wish came true um, you know, because when you blow a dandelion, you make a wish. Well, he, Adrian, is our wish come true. He's, we couldn't have wished for a son just like him because he's so wonderful. Um, I actually created this, uh, border up here for, with a corner punch, one of those EK Success corner punches. And I would show you, but it's way over there in my craft bag. Um, because I didn't have any border punch with me that day when I was doing this at Michael's. The last crop, which was, I think it was back in November when we did our last crop. It might have been October. No, I think it was in November. Anyway, so I cut like a little banner looking thing. And um, the paper is from Kane Company. And then this is my thing that I came up with. Um, it actually originated in the layout that I'm going to show you next. But all it is is straight pins. I have all these straight, straight pins from when someone made me a diaper cake for my baby shower way back, you know, for him. Obviously, he's my only child. And um, what I did is I just cut a little strip of paper I'm just going to grab them over here. Oops, I just kicked the camera. Sorry. Anyway, it's just a strip of paper. And then you just put some adhesive in here. And then you just wrap it around the, the pin. And then I pinned it to the... actually pinned it 
into the adhesive that's behind the photo. And then I tied, on this one, I tied a piece of twine on there that my husband gave me. We cleaned out his office today, well, mostly. And we found this. I'm like, what is this? He said, you can have it. I'm like, woohoo. So I used it. And then um, I used one of these Bic markets. And I just colored it a blue color to make it blue. So that's it. That's my genius idea for the day. Okay, all right. Now, this is another layout that I found, and this is where I really, really decided to use this. Okay, this is a double page layout with the title in the middle. And this is just pictures of him when he first started at this gymnastics school in 2010. This was his original teacher, and you can see shes they're very good there. They, they really, really teach them. It's not just like bounce off the wall time. It's really instruction, and you can see her there. just has his little hands, and he, she wants his attention, and he was listening. So cute. I just love that moment. And then there, you know, he's doing what she was explaining him to do, for him to do. And he's grown so much. It seems like forever, but it was really only like a year and a half ago since we had these pictures taken. And then here's the other half. So see, there's those safety pins. I, I mean, not straight pins. I actually pinned it right through the paper here. You can see maybe the other end. I need to figure out a way of securing that somehow so that somebody doesn't... I mean, it's going to be in my page protector, so it should be fine. And there he is um, getting his little... Every eight weeks, they do like a little award ceremony, and they get a little progress report. So it's really good. And then I did some journaling over here. And then I need to do journaling over here, but I don't remember her name. She's not there anymore. So when we go this week, I need to find out what her name was. She was only there for, he only had her for a few months. Miss Dominique, he had more. So I remember her name, obviously. And then this is a stamp that I've had from, that I had gotten at Walmart. I think it was Autumn Leaves or something, the brand. So yeah, that's it. And I think the font is from, hmm, Maybe a boy cartridge. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember. So anyway, and the paper too. Um, you know, maybe I got the paper was some of that dollar store dollar paper that the dollar store used to carry the pack of dollar paper. So I thought that was perfect for gymnastics. So that's it. And then here's what I'm going to be working on. I have a sketch there that I got. Well, I kind of designed the sketch based on another sketch. I just kind of made it my own. And then these are the pictures that I'm going to be scrapbooking. It's going to be three pictures of stuff he got for Christmas. I'm still doing Christmas layouts. And then I have a few more layouts in my bag already. I kind of wanted to get started on this one, but it was kind of a struggle. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. Because see how the little banners on here have words on them? Energetic. Over here, we've got energetic, energetic, amazing, athletic, talented, fun. Okay, I was going through my stamps. I have so many stamps, okay? A ridiculous amount of stamps. And I found this one. This is from Close to My Heart. I don't know if they still carry this, but it's called Checklist. And it's a checklist here with the little boxes. And then this one is an identification card. Very cute. 
And then it's got all these tiny words, helpful, charming, passionate, friendly, witty, fun, caring. I mean, look at them all. There's tons of them. Great for scrapbooking. Great for a card, too. I need to make a um, thank you card and a birthday card here next. So I don't know if I'll use this or not, but... I should bring it to my crop so I can maybe use it, but I just thought I would share that. So I'm looking around here, see if there's anything else I need to show you for now. But um, stay tuned because, like I said, I'm going to be making a couple cards. Bye!